the one whose existence revels in the worship of one's own altar. The self-formed yearning to find nirvana under oppressive rule certainly sets knowing sparks through the constrictive air. spoken that the arduous fog shrouds the shape of the weeping flesh pile that has become our beloved hero. Even when basking in the glory of the shimmering hive mind does he find himself longing to be in the shadow of a descending boot soul. with the internal monoliths of the hero's image to a core. Be that elixir most potent to shift the perception of this impending demolisher in line with the spectres of consumption's past. The once colossal powers of worship now match sticks, though still rooted firmly through the chasm crack lifeline that lays behind our feet. It wouldn't appear the night of our salvation wishes is past for himself, lest it re-entangle itself through the most vital fixtures of his being. This paragon masquerade perhaps the only trace of decency he feels remains beside him. At once he is brought back to the days of Christ's birth when blooded feet and split ears left trails of first sadness throughout his stomping grounds. The transitional soul stays of the exotic rose for whom this candorous warrior proved a supplier of toxic and self-serving affection. Further beyond lies the shaman of the smoke nymph that signaled the dawning of cataclysm. Forever an equally a misguided parasite and ever fraying demolisher. So easy to deform memory into a deformed scapegoat for chemical distraction and yet still his bones whisper hymns of sympathy in her way. It's in the light of these silent vigils that our clergyman pierces reflective desire to witness the truest form of his essence. That an affectionate shadow presented under him spurs him to throw himself onto it stake so that it may feed on his entrails. And yet with this knowledge nestled firmly between his eyes he finds himself diverting gaze from the avatars of magnificence he lays before to return with longing to the so familiar darkness awaiting the reverent grace of the sacred boot. Yeah.